Hello, hello, hello. All right. Uh, today we're staining red oak stain. Just went out and got some more. I know I kept saying I've been out and I've been out and I've been out. So I haven't been carving that much stuff lately just because I've been out of stain. So instead of getting a small can of stain, I went out and got the big can of stain. That should last me a little while. All right, so last video I did, I was carving this one. I got all the uh, inlands. I did leave this spot blank like I said I was going to do. I left it blank. And then I got all the thumbnails. But let's not delay the inevitable any longer. Let's go ahead and crack this stain open. Always remember to give it a good shake, right? All right. And, uh, you know, lots of people use paint brushes and all sorts of shit for this, but I find a nice handy folded up shop towel works just as good. Let's go ahead and angle this down so you can see the... Staff and everything. All right, let's just go ahead and get to work on it. I like to just go ahead and give a nice heavy globs onto the spots where I sketched in so all the stain seeps down into the grooves. It's groovy. Let's see how much that pops out automatically already. Yeah. All right, all those grooves are filled. Next one. I'm just going to go ahead and keep uh, just doing all the carves. And then I'll go back and do all the blank areas, I guess. Some of these I grooved in pretty deep on the eyeballs. So, got to make sure those all get filled. I went ahead and carved the music themed one without recording it just because, let's face it, nobody wants to watch me carve them. I mean, I guess if they want to learn how I do it, but no one actually wants to sit me here and watch me carve. So I figured I'd go ahead and carve that one and just show you the staining process because, let's face it, you all just want to see the end result, right? And for the hatchet man. We'll go back and clean it up afterwards. A little extra stain here and there ain't going to hurt nothing. It all gets wiped off. All the excess ones, I take a dry one. And after I let it dry for a little bit, I just wipe off all the extra. It penetrates into this wood pretty deep, so...
you know, for this bottom one, I did uh, a little bit of shaving on the, uh, just to give it a little bit of like a shading effect, but I don't think it worked that well. Let's see. Yeah, just like on the hair, the little grooves. You know, I just scratched it in a little bit. It'll be all right. All the picture parts. Let's just go ahead and get the bottom here nice and stained so I can stand it up. It's supposed to get down to freezing today. Get to around 30, 31 degrees. up a little bit without getting uh, stain all over my laptop. did drill this hole in right here, so I'm going to make sure I see a whole bunch of stain down into the hole. That'll do. That'll do it for this one. I'm going to go ahead and set it over here to dry. <coughs> Next up. No, y'all didn't see me carve this one, so... Each little picture on it will be a surprise, huh? I guess you can already tell there's a guitar right here. Go ahead and start with that.
Bada bing, bada boom. A little drip pad. Oh, yeah, I just prop these up on some two by fours. I'm going to put a shop towel underneath where I'm mainly applying it all. That way I can protect my little outdoor freezer here from getting stained. Flower getting held by a skull. Right, well, let's go ahead and just finish staining them all, and then I'll go through and we'll slowly show you each picture, or each carving, I should say. that I had over there. Pretty quick, pretty quick indeed. I've tried a couple other stains. I don't like the walnut or any of the other like super dark ones. This one comes out not too dark on the flat surfaces. And then wherever I etch, it makes it pop out pretty good. So I, I think this is my all-time favorite, just using red oak stain. Seems to... Make everything pop pretty good. I can't have no, I guess I could always play it on my tablet, play some music in the background for this video, but I don't want to get in trouble for copyright, you know, blah, 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 like that shit matters nowadays. hole. So the good thing about using these shop towels, 
it stores excess stain inside the towel. So all you really got to do is squeeze and you'll get some more out. All right, this sucker is pretty much good. Leave that there for a sec. We'll grab the. Go ahead and change gloves real quick. Grab a shop towel here, fold it in half, and then rip it in half. Set this one aside for now. So bring the ICP one back in, and what I'm just going to do is take these clean ones and I'm going to take off any excess. Just like so. And we are done. I'm going to put a little dingle here on both of them. And then on this one, I'm going to do some half hitch knots with the paracord make a little handle here. All right, so I'll go through it all. Got all the different, well, most of the different Joker's cards and Hatchet Man. That's the one that I, it has hands that go with the little hands and whatnot, but I left those out just because there wasn't really much space on there. Could have fit them in there underneath, I guess, but. Who oh, will? You win some, you lose some, right? And that's that. This one is ready to be sold. Set that aside. All right. Grab this one, dry it up real quick. Should be good enough. I know I could just let all this stain sit on there and let it penetrate in, but I'll probably do a second layer later after the video that way. Gets a nice good coating, but for video sake, we're just going to do this. All right. Here we have it. Some little, I don't know. Punk rocker with the mohawk. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever you want to call that. 
playing some sort of instrument. And you got some music notes. I made this one for a, a chick, so I put a picture of a chick, of course. Pretty sure she's going to like this. Hopefully. If not, oh well. Sell it to someone else. Anyway, here you go. I just noticed I'm not really moving my lips much. Here we go. And eh, I'm moving. Chop, chop, chop. And there we have it. I like how the skull came out with the teeth. That one came out pretty nice. Anyway, let's go ahead and set that down there. We're going to pull up the ICP staff. And we are going to put dingles and all that shit on there. Paracord. Good for everything. It's not, I just do basic overhand. And then I melt it because it's paracord and it melts together. down and then I use this two by four here to take off the access stick that together and that'll hold it's not really for putting wrists through but I just want to make sure you could if you wanted to I'm mainly putting this on here so you can hang it on a wall word up Oh, yeah? Bada bing, bada boom. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Alright, we'll see. Say hi to YouTube. We're live. What's up?
Gotta love the simple half hitch knot, right? Good for making handles. Bada bing, bada boom, just melt it together. And you're good to go. Could have made this one a little longer. It's just a small handle, at least there's something to hold on to. That's all that matters. Wrong flame. I've got cook fingers so I can put my fingers right onto that. It doesn't even burn it. It came undone. Uh -oh. Got out of fuel. Bad timing. No. <sighs> There you have it. One ICP staff, stained, carved, handle, dangle, dangle, dongle. There you go. Peace out, you two. That's 31 minutes already. That's all you get. Suckers. It's 31 minutes of your life you're never getting back. <laughs> yeah. I joke, I joke, I kid, I kid, white, like, subscribe, woo, all that good stuff, whatever everyone says. Peace.